begins with getting my bike fixed. I didn't know that something is broken, but apparently it is. It's a partner shop from the Styles motorbike thing where I rented the bike. So I got my free checkup and they say, oh they showed me that uh, the thing where the chain is on the back tire, back wheel is broken, it has to be replaced. Good. So, why not? <laughs> Before? <laughs> That's after. Capital okay when I try. Okay. If uh, Capital not good up that, so well, uh, you must uh, clean Capital. Mm. When full gap, motorbike not part. Slow. Down gap, motorbike part. Uh, inside that too. Okay. Easy. Same, same. Uh, me empty gasoline. And that's what happens when you wreck your bike. Yeah, carnage. Not so bad. It looks, it's a lot better when it looks clean and treated. <laughs> Did you get to the hospital or something? Uh, they, they took me to a doctor who put some iodine all over me. I think I have to explain what happened next because I lost my GoPro footage. I stopped at this coffee shop to get another coffee before I leave Huey and I met this guy. Um, actually I forgot his name and I lost his email address. So he started talking to me and we were talking about what I'm doing, what he's doing and he invited me for tea to his home. So we drove to his home maybe 15-20 minutes, took a very bad road sometimes, things that you normally don't hear. And I think he had some very interesting things to say about his past in Vietnam. Okay, this is what he told me and he was totally fine with me filming it. I hope it's also interesting for you. Maybe... I, I, I haven't come there, but <laughs> I didn't know I live here. You live here with your family? Uh, uh, I'm too married here. I live here. I uh, stopped school very early mm -hmm. when I... 10 years. 10 years? Yeah. Where did you stop? Mm, because I uh, have problem for my family. Mm. That my father is South Vietnam Army. Then Vietnam stopped war in 1975. Yeah. The no Vietnam is South Vietnam. Yeah. And then together. Yeah. After 1975, the South Vietnam people were very uh, uh -huh. poor, difficult. Yeah. Then everyone want to to leave Vietnam, go out my country. If to go overseas country, mm -hmm. to want to find a good life because they, a lot of people die they buy mm. boat, you know. The people fishing in the beach, they have oh, a boat, okay. yeah. mm -hmm. and I, I go with them mm, okay. in 1984, but not lucky. No? By thoughts, the scene, swim, 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 jet bed, like, the village here have um, a right of field, mm -hmm. the people local to work in, working in right of field for the life then uh, just have uh, the land to work in the field. Yeah. And after the government to to see that this land they they want to change. Oh. They want to do the uh, the building, they want to make the company. Oh, okay. The government to keep for for people for local people to take one take land there. Eh? Mm-hmm. A little bit money. 
can they not the local people they have lot of land mm -hmm. they not like they want the government they want to keep the land mm -hmm. sure no, no problem the government they very strong they can destroy everything When I left, I couldn't stop thinking about what he told me. And I think from there on I saw Vietnam a little bit different than before. Weather doesn't look too good. I mean, this one, I don't want to be in there. But it's directly in my way. So, I just decided to stay here. I found vegetarian food and a guest house and it's already 2 o'clock so there's no way uh, that I get to the town where I wanted to go in the next two hours so no
He has a parkour group, of course. Uh, unexpected here. <laughs> Don't know. So, lots of, lots of interesting, unexpected things happened today. A good day, I think. Very good. Thank you.